Hello, this is Deepak Kirbakran with the Vice Serviceability Engineering Team. This video demonstrates how to troubleshoot locked user account issues in Interaction Center. To set a brief context about this issue, Interaction Center Manager application locks the user account after multiple incorrect retries using the wrong credentials. This gives the error message in the message box. Login failed, please retry. So once the account is locked, one will not be able to log into the Interaction Center Manager despite correct credentials. In this demonstration, we will cover how we validate this issue to be with a locked user account from the locks, validate the entries in the dbo.employee table and the respective fields, disable login flag and fail login count. We will cover this in more detail in the demo. Lastly, update the database entries with the new values for those fields and see if the user is able to log in to the Interaction Center Manager. This is the Interaction Center Manager login screen, which is open in my desktop. I log into the IC Manager using the admin credentials. We can see an error message stating unable to log in user admin. In order to validate what caused this particular error message to happen, we navigate to the locks. So I click on my computer, navigate to C drive, program files, via IC72, and locks. In the locks folder, select the admin log for today's date. So we can see here the login event for our occurrence at this moment. You can see here that the login failed. So in order to identify what cost is, let's go a little bit backtracking. Because this is a request, 67109653. So we can go here, the response 67109653, the DS login response. We can see here that the login failed as the account is locked for the user admin. Let me highlight that. So this means that the account is locked and the system will not accept the logins despite the credentials are correct after this is in the lock status. Now let us open the SQL Server database. I go to Start Programs, SQL Server 2005 and SQL Server Management Studio. I navigate to the databases select repository database, click on tables, and look at this particular table called dbo.employee. Right click and click on open table. So here we can see the statuses of this particular admin login. And let us examine the fields which is important for rectifying this particular issue. So let's examine the fields corresponding to the admin username or the login name is admin. So we can see here that the disable on login flag is 1 and this is the MD5 encrypted password for this particular username admin. And we can see here that the failed login count is 0. So we need to run a query wherein we can update the login statuses for the user ac account admin and reset the failed count. I type in the following query. Use repository. So that's a repository database which I'm using. So, run an update query for updating the employee table, which is over here. So, update employee set disable login flag, which is a field which I want to set to zero, comma failed. Login count 
is equal to 0 where disable login flag equals 1 and login name equals admin so in this by running this query we are disabling the login flag field to to 0 and the login name for the login name admin and resetting the fail login count to 0 execute this we can see here that one row is affected now let us minimize this and run the IC manager login again I don't the correct credentials we can see that there's a warning message your password has expired please enter a new one I click on OK and type in the new password so we can see here that we were able to log in with the administrator password this completes the demonstration thank you for your time today we hope this information was useful to you we welcome your comments questions and feedback at mentor at .com or at Tavai mentor on twitter for more details and other technical information please visit support.avaya.com thank you for choosing avaya